In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use SpeedGrader to efficiently be able to grade student work uh, using any of the tools available in Canvas, whether that's a uh, paper, like we'll look at today, a quiz, a discussion, and so forth. So you'll notice that on my dashboard in my sandbox course that I have two things that are uh, illustrating. One is that coming up I have an assignment. I can tell that by that little letter A um, that my students will be uh, turning in. And then um, the other is a to-do. It will show me that I have one assignment to grade as well. I can get to the assignments um, through one of these two methods. The other way I can get there uh, as well is by clicking on assignments and going to the assignment directly. I'm going to go ahead and use the dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and take care of this to-do. You'll notice that as soon as I click on the to-do, it loads the assignment in SpeedGrader and I can tell them SpeedGrader uh, by this gray toolbar and I can also jump to any student who has submitted so I can see that three students uh, one ISS underscore canvas has not submitted the other test student has not submitted the only one that has submitted is Akita Jones which is showing in yellow uh, what's great about SpeedGrader is that I have the uh, ability to uh, leave comments and so for example if I want to uh, uh, highlight uh, that uh, I think that this thesis uh, is uh, well then the student will see those comments um, as they review the paper. And I have a number of tools available to me, the comment tool similar to in Google Docs, the draw tool so I can go ahead and circle um, and highlight um, the text tool, or I could say So I can have the uh, text title. I can also strike out uh, any materials that I, uh, any text that I think is uh, probably unrelated. And this tool is really most robust in typical uh, narrative tool documents like Microsoft Word, which is in this case have this file submitted, Google Docs, PowerPoint, um, Google Slides. Um, and PDFs. Uh, the other tools will, uh, you can upload any other file format, but primarily what it'll do is it'll take a uh, snapshot. The other thing that I can do, and this is where it gets even more powerful, is you'll notice I have the ability to view the rubric. And when I go ahead and view the rubric, um, I can start scoring the rubric uh, immediately. So I can see that in terms of quality of research, as I reviewed the research, that I'm going to give the student a 25. In terms of content, I'm going to give the student uh, 30 uh, in terms of, and you'll notice as I start to give those points, uh, it will highlight. So the other way that I can do this is I can see that me uh, grammar mechanics is spot on, so it's going to give 20 points. And then finally, in terms of formatting, um, it's fairly close but doesn't quite meet the criteria. Um, and then I can go ahead and add comments. I just would uh, suggest here that you're really going to want to be very intentional about the first time you use SpeedGrader and showing students how comments are somewhat embedded in what they will be able to see. So for example, quality of research is excellent. And I probably would have a longer comment, more thorough comment, if this was in a screencast. And then uh, finally, what you'll see down here at the bottom is the total score, 80, uh, uh, 84 out of 100. Once I click Save, um, it will show that uh, the uh, the document's been saved. I can also uh, add an attachment. I can add media comments. So for example, I can go ahead and record a, a video of me letting know the letting know the student what I've really liked about it. So Akita, one of the things I really appreciated about your paper is you really marshaled this argument on both sides um, and it became much more nuanced uh, as we drew to the end of the paper around specifically how compulsory uh, conscription can best serve uh, the United States. And once I go ahead and click Save so and listen, it will uh, add that recording 
uh, to the uh, student's work. Uh, the other thing that I can do is there in Google uh, Chrome, if you use Google Chrome, you can also add comments by speech recognition. So I want to go ahead and click this, and I click the record button. It will start to record all of the uh, comments that I think are important for uh, the student to be aware of, period. For example, one thing that is really important is the thesis uh, clearly identifies why cons uh, scripts, conscription is uh, important in the United States of America, okay. period. And once I click Save, um, then I can go ahead and I can um, uh, simply change uh, any of the mistakes. So for example, I started uh, to record um, some of the d directions um, and really what I'm uh, really what I was getting at is uh, I want to make sure Keita knows that it's really important around the thesis and I can go ahead and submit the comment so lots of different ways to leave general comments um, that uh, will be attached to the paper when the student views you can see here that the comment has been submitted um, the other thing that it will do is uh, if I choose to use the comments in the rubric so students sort of go two steps in they'll be able to see specifically comments uh, as it's related um, to SpeedGrader. Um, SpeedGrader is a fantastic tool. I would just say that uh, you, you might find it a much more efficient way to maintain your gradebook.